If you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylin, and I post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to click on to that subscribe button down below and become part of our little family. Today's video, we are going to be doing another how I eat in a day, where I kind of explore my approach to intuitive eating, the choices I make, and some questions that I might ask myself. I do wanna put a disclaimer though, that intuitive eating and recovery don't go hand in hand like this. They're not best friends. So if you're somebody who is stepping away from dieting or somebody who is further along in their recovery journey and feels a little bit more ready to dip their toes into intuitive eating, then this video might be for you. So step one, the first thing that I ask myself is like, am I craving something? What do I want? And I have some fresh pressed pineapple juice in the fridge that I've been thinking about this morning. And as I was getting ready, I just could not stop thinking about this sweet, delicious juice. Sounds weird when I put it like that, but it's so good. And I think I want to make a smoothie with it because I haven't had a smoothie in a while. And the second question that I'm going to ask myself, because I don't think a smoothie is enough for the hunger level that I'm at right now. I'm checking in with my hunger, whether I need something a bit smaller or I need something a little bit bigger. Neither is better than the other. They're both neutral. They're both morally neutral. We have an avocado that's on its last leg. So I think we're going to use that to make some avocado toast as well. Okay, where's that avocado? Hmm. Ah. She feels real soft, so I'm hoping that she's not black inside. Also see this spinach that's going to go bad soon and I have such a big tub of it, so I'm going to throw this into my smoothie as well. And my freaking favorite pineapple juice. If you ever see this in your grocery store, do yourself a favor and bring it home because it's just so good. And honestly, pineapple juice is super underrated in my opinion. I need mango, bananas. I don't know if I wanna add berries. I think I'm gonna stick to mango and banana today. I'm just going to use my magic bullet because I don't wanna clean my Vitamix. I just, I don't wanna do it. Banana. Frozen mango. If I had yogurt, I would also add it in this as well. Spinach. I love adding this into my smoothies because it makes it such a pretty color. And it's also just a good way to add in some more veg. Smack that, get on the floor. Smack that, give me some more. I don't know why I have that song stuck in my head. And, ugh, oh, delicious pineapple juice. Oh, I don't know. <gasps> that is literally perfect. Oh my goodness. I threw a piece of toast into the toaster and I'm going to put on some of this, what is this? Um, the herb and garlic cream cheese from Philadelphia and some of this avocado. I'm keeping it super simple because I'm not really feeling like adding anything else on. I don't really want tomatoes or anything like that. And with intuitive eating, you, you don't have to put things on if you don't want it. This is my yummy breakfast for today. Everything looks incredible. And something that I quickly just wanna add in here when we're talking about intuitive eating and food in general, everything is morally neutral. So I'm not good for having this breakfast, just like I wouldn't be bad if I was having anything else. Also a reminder that like diet culture does not own avocado toast or smoothies or anything like that. As long as you are enjoying what you're eating and you're eating what you want, you're doing a great job. And if you feel very confused when you ask yourself you know what do i want trust me that's a normal thing to experience with intuitive eating especially if you are a beginner sometimes i ask myself what i want and i have no freaking idea but if you've never really even asked yourself that question how are you supposed to know right away so continue to practice asking yourself and if you aren't sure a game that i like to play and something that i also teach my clients is just a game of categories right so do i want something hot or cold spicy or mild, <laughs> sweet or savory. But let's give this a bite, it looks so good. Mm. Mm. 
That herb and garlic cream cheese slaps with avocado. I think I found a new favorite. Wow. Such a pretty color. I've got like a green vibe going here with my sweater, my nails, the smoothie, the toast. Love green. Cheers. So sweet and delicious. A 10 on 10. <laughs> I transitioned and not go the way I expected, but we're in my fridge. It's lunchtime. And for me today, the most important thing for my lunch is something that is quick and something that I don't have to prepare. And so with those two things in mind, I'm gonna look at my fridge and see what we've got going on. The first thing that I see is I have some chicken and rice soup that I made last night, which was exquisite. And in this bowl over here, I have this like green goddess salad. It's made with like pesto and spinach and cabbage. And I could eat this with tortilla chips as well. That requires a little bit more work of like getting the tortilla chips and stuff. I think I'm going to heat up some soup in the microwave and because I'm gonna be a good girlfriend, I'm gonna heat some up for Andrew as well. Having leftovers or food prepared in my fridge is so important for me as somebody who has meetings basically all day. Sometimes I've got time to cook and whip together a lunch and sometimes I don't. I could put together a sandwich or something like that, but I'm really feeling something warm and comforting. It's a bit chilly. And in my office, I was a bit cold too in my last uh, call. And so this is hitting the spot for something that is convenient, something that does not require basically any work other than heating it up. It has that warm component that I was looking for. So I'm really hitting hitting all of the nails on the head or whatever them kids say these days. I think I'm going to heat this up on the stove today. This soup, by the way, was the first time that I made it. It was so good. So I'm gonna link the recipe down below. And because I work from home, personally, I don't really think of like, is this going to fill me up or things like that. I really just think about food that I wanna eat and if I'm still hungry, then I go and get more. So that might be something that like you would want to consider if you're working in an office job or something like that. But just in general, for me, I find that like, just having access to food around me gives me a little bit more of like a privilege when it comes to intuitive eating. Oh my God, this smells so good. All right, so this is my lunch for today. Hot, easy, quick, amazing. By the way, I made a bunch of things yesterday in order to kind of meal prep because today is Monday. I do not meal prep like my meals in containers. I personally think that that's a little bit much and like not very intuitive, but whatever, that's for another day. I did make things that would just be easy to grab and go. Like I made cookies, these granola bars, a lot of this soup and that salad. So it's just like easy to grab things. So if you do wanna see another meal prepping video, then let me know in the comments down below, but let's have some of the soup. Mm. I love it because the soup is like mainly rice and it's so tasty. I just finished work for the day and I am big snack hungry. So let's make a snack together. We're eating dinner, I don't know, in like an hour, something like that, maybe two hours, I have no idea. But I really never think of like when I'm having dinner when it comes to like me being hungry, I'll just have like a substantial snack or whatever it might be. Because if I'm hungry and then I wait an extra hour or an extra 30 minutes or whatever it might be, that meal is not satisfying to me. I feel like I'm just trying to get food in as quickly as possible because I'm so desperate for food and that is not something that that I want to be doing and for this snack I'm feeling something both savory and sweet one thing that I know I want to have are these oat bars that I made yesterday I'm still perfecting the recipe but it's got oats peanut butter chocolate chips hemp seeds oil and milk I think that that's all the ingredients I think so oh and cocoa powder <laughs> And maple syrup, look at me, I'm forgetting all of the ingredients. And I'm just going to put a plate together of things that look really yummy. I'm just gonna like scrounge around a bit, scrounge around, <laughs> scrounge around a little bit and see what I come up with. First things first though, the oat bar. This pear sounds delicious. Cheese. And I also have some of these crackers that I love. So I'm gonna throw together a quick little plate. I don't wanna eat the sticker, so I'm gonna take it off. Falling to pieces in my room Are you coming over? That's cool I could use a little something to do We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to That's cool I did what I supposed to There's nothing left for me 
So this is the snack platter that I came up with. We have the sweet on this side and the savory on the other. And I'm just, I'm so hungry and this is exactly what I wanted. And so this is a reminder, you can snack before meals. You have permission. I have permission to stop whenever I want and I also have permission to go get more. And neither of those options are better than the other. I really wanna try my oat bars because this is, I think my second attempt on them. I really wanna perfect them before giving you guys the recipe, but cheers. Mm. That is the best attempt so far out of the two. It's, it's like soft and chocolatey and peanut buttery all at the same time. I really love it. Fruit and sharp cheddar cheese is one of my favorite pairings. So I'm gonna go eat this, probably watch some One Tree Hill, and I will see you soon for dinner. All right, friends, it is time for dinner, and Andrew actually prepared some of his famous homemade bread. And so right now the dough is rising. This is how we make that ball bread that you see all the time on my Instagram or over here on YouTube. It's just so freaking good. Whatever bread recipe you like and putting them in these little balls in a dish is just so wonderful. And the only thing that I knew I wanted to do for dinner tonight was make something with chicken because I took this chicken out of the freezer because I just didn't see anything that I really vibed with. I was just trying to find something versatile that I can kind of adapt to how I was feeling. So I was thinking, maybe of like a chicken salad or a chicken sandwich, shredded chicken, chicken with pasta. There's so much that we can do, but because Andrew did so much hard work with that bread, it's going to be so delicious. I'm gonna keep it relatively simple and I'm going to make a honey mustard salad. So let's marinate our chicken and just get everything all, all thrown together. For my chicken marinade, I'm going to use mayo as the base and then you can just add whatever spices you like. It makes the chicken so nice and crispy. To be fair, it's better on the barbecue, but you gotta do what, what you gotta do. Let's make one of my favorite dressings ever. Generous scoop of mayo. Some yellow mustard. I probably add in like half a tablespoon. I'm not the biggest fan of Dijon mustard. Like this is probably one of my least favorite condiments, but I like it in this dressing. And so I literally just put like a squeeze like that. It just adds like a little bit more of like a depth of flavor. The last thing that we're going to add is some honey because this is honey mustard. Honey, unlike Dijon, is one of my favorite condiments. It's good on avocado toast. It's good on toast in general. I always open these things with my teeth and I know it's unhygienic. I'm sorry. Not really. And for this I probably add in like a good tablespoon or so. This dressing though is super customizable so you can just taste it and add more or well, I was gonna say add less. You can't really do that, but add more of whatever you like. I usually love to make the salad with kale, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use spinach instead. And I'm just going to throw in whatever veg I've got going on for me into the salad as well. And we'll be all set. I'm so thankful that past me washed these vegetables already because I, I can't be asked. I don't even wash my lettuce. <laughs> goodness and i'm adding extra cheese because that's the way we like it adding things that you actually enjoy to your salads makes them like a million times better a good dressing some cheese bacon whatever you whatever you love she knows her way around my place call me later but forgot my name move down south let me ride the waves summer skin she don't want the shade pick you up we enjoy the ride Another tip 
tip that might help you is because I'm cooking chicken today, I'm just cooking more. It makes it so easy for me to just throw together a sandwich, a salad, a wrap, which are some of my favorite things. And that honey mustard dressing works so good in wraps as well. But just having food on hand that you like have access to that you know that you enjoy and that's also really versatile is one of my favorite things. And listen, tomorrow if I'm not feeling chicken, I just won't have it. But if I don't know what I'm feeling, it's a great thing for me to just grab because I know I already enjoy it. But the bread is cooking and the chicken's almost done. Dinner's here soon. Dinner just finished and we just watched the new episode of The Last of Us that dropped on Sunday. I just love that show, it's so great. We had a lot of yummy bread and it was so good. And I'm a bit too full to be honest for like a nice big dessert or anything like that, but I do want something a little bit sweet. And so part of me listening to my body in this case is like just choosing something that would be a bit more satisfying for like my level of, of what I'm looking for. Because listen, I can have a cookie any day I want. I can have cake any day. I want there's no rules ever and so I think what I want today before bed is just like a handful a handful of little something something that's what I'm in the mood for am I full yes but at the same time taste hunger is a thing that you're allowed to listen to and I also ask myself like is it gonna make me feel sick and the answer is no my choice tonight are some of these mini eggs or eggies, I should say. What a cute name. My sister and I actually called mini eggs eggies for like our entire adult life. <laughs> I'm going to snack on some of these to have a sweet note to end my day. But I hoped you liked this how I eat in a day video. But anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Let me know if you liked this how I eat in a day style of video, because if you let me know, I'm, I'm gonna make more of them. Don't forget to say hi or leave me a kind comment down below and make sure to do something kind for yourself today. Okay? Okay. Bye friends.